Well, it's Food Truck Friday, and we are outside getting ready for a fresh smoothie just in time for the summer. Yes, we've got Cool Breeze smoothies in the house, and Bree Jervikas is here. You are the owner. This is your passion product, and I can't believe, like, you just had a baby. <laughs> yeah. Just had a baby. So thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. oh, so Two months old the baby is. <laughs> yeah. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. So we just came out of talking about wellness, and this is what you offer, fresh, healthy, convenient. I think so many times we want to eat well, but we're rushing. And so you have a solution because it's delicious, but everything in here is pure goodness. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I don't use any of the ice or the mixes. Everything is a base of frozen organic fruit and then whatever juices or nut milks I add to it. Wow, that's really remarkable. And the, this, the big green monster is healthy. I mean, and it, it tastes is. good too. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Green drinks can really taste good. So, what what do you think? Uh, I, I heard that you know you were inspired because someone else in your family had a food truck. You loved it. You decided to take this wellness, this health on the road, right? Mm -hmm. So, how are people responding when they drink these? Because not everyone wants to be healthy. They also, want things to taste good, right? Yeah. So people are honestly surprised when they taste my smoothies. A lot of smoothie shops will make their smoothies with a lot of ice, and that yeah. really doles down the flavor. So when you start with a base of fruit, you really get a lot of flavor in a small cup. Yeah, I, I, a great day at 9A. I had the mango, was it the mango? Mm -hmm. it was yeah, that. so the mango's right here. Do you want to try that one? It That's was, your most popular. Okay. It is absolutely delicious. And this is, uh, here you go, Scott. There you go. I already had the mango. You give it, You <laughs> okay. want to give it a whirl? Give it a whirl. It's beautiful. This one is really bright. It's and like bold. pure mango. Yeah. yeah I mean, it so is. that's what I can taste the difference as you're right. It doesn't, certainly not like those things you get at the mall or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no, uh, the, this, it just tastes like I'm drinking a mango and yeah. it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if you're trying to get more greens, we all uh, could work on getting a few more veggies in our life. This is a delicious way to get them. What's in the green one? Yep. So, this one has mango as well, and that's kind of what uh, balances out the taste of the green. And then there's kale, um, a little bit of juice, cucumber, and I'll add mint too. And you'll add a little mint too. Yeah. Now tell me, where can people find you? Do you are you stationary at one place during the weekend, or people call you and you just? I know you did a party for 450 people once. That's mm -hmm. remarkable. Mm. Yep. So usually um, companies or families will call me. I'll do private catering for them. They get to decide the smoothies, how they want it presented, and I'll blend it up there, and it's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. This and it's is delicious. I don't know why you were being a wimp about this earlier. <laughs> this is so good. I mean, it tastes like a dessert, but I'm doing something so good for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. I mean, this would be great for the first week in the summer on the beach. Are you coming to any beaches? Can we get your smoothies near the water anywhere? <laughs> I mean, if someone wants to throw a party at the beach, okay. I'll That's be there. Awesome. Yeah. That's really awesome. What's in the uh, blender? So this one is a berry, so it has coconut milk, agave, which is a natural sweetener, and then strawberries and blueberries. Can we give it a whirl? You can taste this one, yep. Yeah, oh my I'd gosh. I, I, every one I've had so far, I love it so much. Thank so what's you. your tip so for people who are trying to make this at home? I mean, I would love to have yours every day, but how do we... How do we make a better smoothie at home, you think? A better smoothie? Sometimes smoothies can be frustrating because um, your blender is not that good quality. Okay. So the solution to that would be to not so use good. ice and then maybe just let your frozen fruit thaw out a little bit. Okay. That way you don't have to add so much liquid. So good and um, you can blend it nicely. Okay, all right, and so then, that's a good tip, yeah. Yep, and then even if you have like fresh strawberries, that will sometimes even taste better. They'll throw in a little bit of a banana, and I tend to avoid yogurt, because sometimes that might add too much sour when you're already uh, dealing with So yours fruit. is just fruit, and then maybe some like coconut milk or almond, so it's also everything is, it, it, that you do has dairy-free and... Yep, I don't, I don't tend to use dairy, and I've stayed away from honey, so they're usually vegan. Okay. And was the name of the company a no-brainer? No. So I actually wanted to name it Cool Breeze, like the normal way you'd spell it. But there was a potential trademark issue. So then my brother says, oh, I thought you meant to spell it like this. And I was like, that's a great idea. That is a great that's idea. Better. I was like, Cool Breeze. I was like, that is fantastic. We love yeah. it. So some things, good things are born from mistakes. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you have a little baby, and like, I know that, that the baby's too young probably for this, but this is a great thing for your kids to start, you know, introducing them to fruits and veggies. They can have smoothies. They'll love it. Now yeah. I have no excuse not to make baby food at home. <laughs> so are you, you going to be anywhere this weekend, or are you just... Uh... Nope. So um, I have three events next weekend. That'll all be for a hospital. They have a few a different hospital. campuses. And the 450, that was for a private school? Yep. That That's was, a lot of people. That was killer. <laughs> so make sure you find a cool out there you can follow you on social media I imagine mm -hmm. yep. Instagram a website as well okay so find where she is maybe have her at your next party so delicious hey cheers to the weekend cheers to the weekend thank you <laughs> and to cheers. Good health. we appreciate it thanks so much for joining us here on great day we appreciate that we hope you have a great safe and healthy weekend enjoy the travelers I want to at four is next